Hi. Following the topics, I return to this section, this test file. Then I type DW, the shortcut which we made. Then this section, general. Here we have four items in options. And these items are really effective on the quality of the results. And we must know the exact usage of each of them. And first item is hide scope box. It's right here, as you can see. For sure, you will use scope box tool during working on your projects. It's really common for most of the projects. I might have some scope boxes here. Uh, here I activate this item. Like this. All right. What do we have here right now? This is a reference plane. And here are two scope boxes. Then I need to have a section line here. And another one here. Then I can have a copy of this for this section. I should organize them a little. This one till here. And this one till here can be okay. Okay, right here I create a sheet. After that, I can choose one of the sections as an instance number one inside of this sheet and return to this section. Right now, as you can see, this one, which is number one, is in this sheet as it's visible by its label, but the others are not inside of this sheet. And right now, I put a furniture right here, a sofa, no matter where it is wherever you like. Then I type DW to have this window. Guys, the items which we have here are really important. First one is hide scope bikes. When you have scope bikes in your project and you don't want to have it in your results in AutoCAD file, in this way, you can select this checkbox. You might uh, forget to hide the scope boxes in new template or for any reason you don't want to have a scope boxes in your results. In this way, you can select this. And for now, I deselect all of these items to talk about them. All right. As I said, first one is hide scope box, which is selected here. Okay. And after that, I click on next. Then here, the address of the training file. I create a folder. I name it O3 and O31. Okay. One more time, DW, and this time I deselect it. Okay, next and two. So, first one which was selected and the second one which I didn't select it. I open AutoCAD then here in this section, open, I can choose the files, one and two. All right, when you take a look at here, this one is number one and number two, scope bikes. We have it in one of them and we don't have it in the other. In view tab, height, vertical, I put them beside of each other. See, this is the first one which I selected and as you can see, the scope box is hidden, but this one, which is number two, the scope box is not hidden because I deselected that checkbox. Here, let me tell you something. If you import a file and the lines are not visible, you should have LTS or line type scale. And you need to change it, which here I choose to have 50. And in this way, the dashed lines are more visible. Okay, here, as you can see, we have scope box. Here, this section, this item as you can see here, and this side which we don't have scope bikes. So this is the usage of this item. This one. Second item here is hide reference plane. These are the reference planes. You might have reference planes in many projects. You might have them as the helpers. You need to have them in your plan but you don't want to export them. In this way, you can choose this 
checkbox you can use this item but if you do the settings in new template it's not important to select this checkbox or not and here we have reference plane then in this section i select this checkbox hide reference plane in this way they won't be in my export i select then i click on next then here in this section i rename this again return to this section this time i deselect it in this way we can check both situations and we can compare them okay they are three and four back to autocad i close these files and open number three and four i open them and this section window i type them number three without reference plane but this one number four with reference plane even lts 50 percent and enter and yet without reference planes and here they are these are symbol lines so in this way we can have this option and it can be really helpful during working on a project when you want to export and send the files for other people and when you want to have only dwg files it can be really helpful you can have a big knowledge about the structure and the settings which you can have for autocad files from revit software you can be familiar with them this section hide on reference view tag this is really interesting there's always some problems for the users of the revit software about this item uh, here I created three sections. One of them is in the sheet and the others are not. Here I use callout and for example, one callout for this section and another one for this section. It can be very, very unique. Let me have this one. It's right here, these two items. I put it in detail, this one and this one. All right, return to the plan, control Z, okay. I select it and I consider it as detail. Guys, it's not necessary to have detail. I just want to have a new category. So I prefer to have it in detail to be able to have variety. All right, here in first one, this sheet, one more time. All right, this is detail zero inside of this sheet and another callout here. Then return to this section again. Okay, here as you can see, the label is visible and the other one is empty. But the point is about this item, hide and reference view tag. Guys, this is really important. There are many users which experienced a problem and the problem was this. When they wanted to have export of the project DWG file, it was without section lines there might be many people who experienced this but what happened here guys when you see a label inside of them it shows that they are some views inside of a sheet but when they are empty it shows that they are not in a sheet and because of this when you have an export you can ask the software to consider this unreferenced in the export or not. Because if you want to have them inside of the export, uh, the person who received this file and when he or she wants to check this, these unreferenced might cause some confusions. Why? Because there are three sections in the plan but there is only a sheet with a section. To avoid this confusion, you can have them as unreferenced. Now we analyze them. Here in this section, this hide unreferenced view tags, I select it and it's selected automatically in default settings. Then here I name it all five. One more time, DW as we created the shortcut. And this time I deselect this checkbox. So one of them 
with selected checkbox and this one without selection. Okay, return to AutoCAD. Open 5 and 6. All right, select here, view both of them here. Now, as you can see, here in this section, the first one which was selected, there are only the views and sections which are used in this sheet. And the items which are not used here are hidden automatically. But right here in second one, O6, here you can see that all of them are exported. So if you want to have all of the items and views and symbols in your export, you need to deselect this checkbox. But if you want to have the exact symbols and sections which are used and considered in your sheet, and you don't want to have the views and sections which are not inside a sheet, you must select this checkbox. In this way, they won't be exported. This is really important and helpful and worthy in the projects. It's amazing. Now the last one. Preserve coincident line. As it's obvious by its name, with selecting this checkbox, you can preserve some lines coincidentally. It means that when you have some lines or elements in your project, which they are overlap some places, as in instance, the cabinet which is on the wall, or some furnitures or sofas which are stick to the wall, or even some columns. Here, I open a structural columns. Concrete. And after that, I put a column here. Height. Till here. This wall till here. And the other one till here. Something like this, for example. As you can see, there are some common lines between the items and the structure. Or here, for example, with floor tool, I can draw a floor right here. From here till here, for example, I draw it here to uh, see it better. So here is the floor, walls, items, and overlaps. Most of the time, when the users check the exports, they see that there are some lines which are deleted. The software does this automatically from the default settings. In this way, you can have the lightest AutoCAD file, especially when you have big and messy projects. And in this kind of situations, the software deletes the lines which are overlapped. And this process can happen with this item. Preserve coincident line. It's not selected from the defaults. It means that the lines won't be preserved when it's not selected. So I want to keep this. Okay. Then here I rename it 7DW one more time. And this time I select this checkbox. Let's see what happened. So 7 is not selected and 8 is selected. Return to AutoCAD. I close this, open, 7 and 8, I open them. And I put them beside of each other. Okay, guys, definitely you will be surprised. When I move this section, you will see that this side of this item, which was overlapped with the wall, is not here anymore. But here in this section, it's completely preserved. Why? Because it's selected and the other one is not selected. Or here, I move this column. See? Now, here I move the column. See? All of the lines are still here. After that, this section for the floor, I move this line. And also here, this side, see? But it's 
up to your operation. Be careful. In this kind of situations, some elements like the floor can be really good with this item. I mean this option. But for the other things like the furniture or the column, which it's necessary to keep the lines, it cannot be okay. It's not really suitable to um, have not these lines anymore. But for the floors, it's really good. And in other hand, in the other side, it's really good for these sections. But here, uh, because of the thickness of this floor, here, this section, the upper line is saved and the lower one is preserved as well. So, it's not really suitable. But it's better to select and preserve them because we need to have these lines. But how we can solve this problem? Let me return this. Here in AutoCAD software, in this kind of situations, we can type overkill to solve this problem. Let me return them. Control Z. Overkill. I select all of the drawings and enter. Here in this section, I can click on OK and the items or the lines which are overlapped, I can solve the problems. These two will be saved because they are in different layers. In this way, we can solve this problem and this can be really helpful because most of the users are fighting with these problems. They say that when they want to have export from Revit software, the drawings won't be complete or there are some extra lines. All of these problems are from this and as you can see, you need to have a perfect knowledge about the setting and the way of exporting uh, the results from Revit software and you need to know about the actions of these settings in this software. And right now I'm gonna tell you an important point if you want to learn Revit software professionally. Guys, please learn this software with considering the correct principles. Wrong training is not only about incorrect results in your projects. You are wasting your time and your money. Imagine you spend several months for training, you have spent so much money, but at the end you have some problems in real projects and all of your results are with the low quality and far away from standards. In this way, you wasted your time, you wasted your money and you lose your credit. In this way, the employer might think that the software is not a good software, which I think in this way you are lucky, or he or she might think that you are not a professional person with enough knowledge. You can have your training wherever you like, but try to consider the principles, try to learn it correct with standards. In our architectural Revit course, I teach all of these items one by one with considering the principles and standards. It's not a simple training course. This is the result of many years' experiences of mine. You can have it in a short time with the highest quality.